All right, so what we're going to do now is actually start building our application as far as like the graphical layout of the screen and the way we want to actually see things, uh, you know, just kind of going about what components are we going to use, right? So uh, with Factory Talk SE, there is a lot of components that come with it that we will be utilizing because of the simple fact that we don't have to have 30 third party things like uh, Plant PAX or we don't have to have third party things like the gym system that has uh, now migrated into uh, the Plant PX app application. So we wanna have this uh, as a generic as possible. So what I wanna do is actually expand the screen to give us a, a more of a fluent ap atmosphere. So if you go back and look at our settings now, we're at uh, roughly around 1900, or, or I'm sorry, 1190, and then the height is, uh, you know 744 so uh, that's basically where we're at what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into libraries libraries um, now this comes standard with all of the factory talk se systems now so I want to uh, let you be know that there is a lot of stuff in here you can use that is already done right so you don't have to build everything that you're doing you can not actually utilize these things so there's pipes uh, there's there's another set of pipes there's another set of pipes now, personally, I like to use the third set, um, and that's what we're going to be using because of the simple fact that you can make it look that much more professional. So um, there will be instances where we use uh, maybe some components in here, but as far as this goes, we will have uh, instances of this right here. So um, as far as the pipes, you can use different sizes and stuff of that nature, but we need to understand too, okay, so we're, what are we going to be using, right? We're going to be using pipes, valves, tanks we're going to be using different things so let's look at the tanks right uh, there's some tanks right here there's some tanks right here um, I like the way the other ones look personally I just think that it's going to turn out better if we use a tank something like this um, and even like maybe even you know have that feed or sub feed into another batch tank as well so meaning uh, what we can do is we can actually pull this over uh, have this tank just like this and uh, let's pull the tanks back up so all you have to do is really like, kind of pull it over you can resize the stuff all you want you know have different things so then we'll come over here and pull this in and uh, we'll come over here and have maybe we'll have two of these we'll copy and paste so I have two of these and personally what I like to do too being that this is a lighter color see this so what I like to do is come over here and change the uh, the fonts of this so if this this matters to you so you can actually come over here and change the font colors and stuff or, or the, the the width the line width and we'll change the line width to uh, it's not 21 we'll change this line width to one so you see how that changes the the, the line width it kind of matches the, the line width over here and that's what we're aiming at right so uh, you can see that I'm just using the the pattern over here I'm using the control panel over on the the bottom left are the bottom right hand corner so uh, so we'll add that and if you you need to see that again that's just changing that so again you come down here and you we're gonna change every little piece of that so before we duplicate it we want to get it right so this is a nice looking tank now it pretty much if you sit it side by side it looks uh, more professional right so again when it comes down to it that's what you're really aiming after you're trying to be as more professional as possible or the, the most professional as possible now uh, we can have this flow left to right left or, or, or from left or right to left but in our case we're gonna just copy this and paste it again we're gonna have two tanks so we're gonna call this we're gonna have these two tanks right here now again you heard me say in the past that we're going to use this align tool so we're going to merely just copy this or we're going to highlight this image we're going to hit uh, shift I'm sorry and then we're not going to hit shift we're going to hit control and then we're going to come up here and then use this align tool now that align tool aligns it properly up here so you can easily see that now the tank we can change the the width of this tank right here just to see this see how big that is we can change the, the width of these now I, I do kind of want to keep it uh, to a certain point where you know it's not too big but again we'll, we will have an icon to say hey this is the batch tank these are the two uh, tanks that we will be pulling from for our fluids or something of that nature right 
So uh, when it comes into it, or you can say this is for flour, or this one is for uh, maybe a, a liquid or something for that matter. Uh, you know, this is just showing you the ingredients and how much of that ingredient we would be actually adding. Now again, now so what are some other common things that you would think about using, right? So you can have symbols. Let's see, symbols. You come in here, we're not going to use any symbols. Uh, we'll come in here, we'll have pumps. Uh, come in, use different different style pumps. Let's just uh, utilize some of these that would be uh, more common and more, I guess, uh, used, uh, you know, as far as this goes. And what you can do too is when you're using pumps, I want you to understand too, like say for instance, we want to use this pump. Now I can turn this around, right? So the cool thing about this is I can come in here and like basically flip this using this icon up here. I can flip that that direction. I can shrink this down to whatever I want, you know, and have that just like that. I come in here and, and actually come in and do some animation to it if I wanted to. Uh, the colors of it, uh, basically, you know, however you want to. So um, in this instance, what we'll do is actually we'll have this one being, let's actually turn that back around. Let's turn that back around and we're just going to come up here and, and utilize the toolbar that we talked about, you know, we would have before so that, that again, we can use it easily to come over here and flip this around. So this uh, coming back here, this would be the pump. And this would be the, the main pump that we would have coming out of the actual tank. And this would pump it over to, say for instance, our actual uh, end result. So in that end result, what we can do is we can say, okay, this is our, our two tanks. We're gonna feed the batch tank and the batch tank when the batch is done, we're going to actually disperse that to the actual line. So let's actually add another tank in here. So um, what I'm doing is uh, I'm actually coming in and saying, oh, well, let's actually kind of build this uh, on an audible, if you would, and and have this as like a you know like a storage tank or something like that. So let's just say this is a batch tank and it's going to be doing a storage, uh, and then we'll have this as our big final end result as our batch, right? So uh, what I want to do is actually kind of give a rough example and lay out our ground structure first. Right, and kind of come back and, and give uh, the base indication of that, right? So again, if we even if we didn't want to have this yellow or this blue color, we could change the blue color to match this color over here. We could say, what is this color over here? Uh, get the get the colors and match that. But right now, let's just leave that like like it is. Looks pretty good, right? Now, as far as this goes, uh, each one of these will have. Uh, we'll actually lower this down because this is our end result. And we'll have this up here. We can have these two just like this. And have these two just like this. I'm just trying to get a base understanding, like, you know, a base indication of a rough imp implementation of this, right? So again, let's let's come in here and, and let's see, pumps. Um, being that we're gonna use this style pump, uh, be perfectly fine. We'll just copy paste that in there. And what we want to do is, for as this goes, is we want to have two of these uh, flipped around because we're going to have these going this way. And now we're going to shrink these down just a little bit because we want to have these, you know, kind of at the point where we can actually utilize these and, and have these all again. You you heard me say before we want to have these on the on a screen that we can see, all right? So to have these at a point where they're both accessible and they both understand. We can easily understand where they're at. What we can do is, is, is come over here too and highlight both of these. And while we have both of them highlighted with the control key, we can shift these up. Now what I'm doing here is giving myself a little bit more room to actually uh, come back and I don't have to play with piping and stuff of that nature. So again, um, we talked about piping and we decided I think that we decided the piping and stuff of that nature, we would probably go with the third set. Now, again, uh, this is really, really, really simple. Uh, when it comes down to it, you can pick whatever piping you want to. I prefer to use, um, I'm going to use the fluid to show uh, indications and stuff of that nature. You can actually show the different colors too. You can just highlight the color of the pipe. 
uh, when there's fluid going through it. Um, you know, it, it really, really does depend on what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. Um, but we'll come in and drop some pipes in here and make sure that we have just enough to get, uh, and let's see, come up here. What we're doing is, is we're going to drop some pipes and we're going to get some elbows. We're going to get some stuff. We may or may not use this. All we're doing is kind of grabbing them so we don't have to reposition them. Um, we can't always flip them and turn them and do whatever we want with them. It's not a big deal. Uh, but again, when it comes down to it, kind of understand where we're at. We want to have uh, maybe a, a strainer or something like that too, for that matter. Uh, come over here and, and have that as well. So uh, I, I do want to give a, a, a rough indication of, of how things should be and how things should work. Right. So um, you can also get these um, these as well and what we can do is depending upon which flange you want to use like this is a, a greenish flange I'm not really big on the greenish flange um, at least on the background we're using so we can highlight both of these and control and just move these just like that that way we can delete that but um, what I'm doing here is just basically getting the um, elements that I'm going to be using grabbing the elements that I'm going to be using right here so we're gonna come over here and grab that come over here and some of these are a little bit harder to grab because they're smaller so depending upon what you're using you know that's basically where we're at so hopefully you understand you know kind of where we're at what we're doing um, and we're gonna resize our pipes so don't don't worry about that but when it comes down to it I do want to come in here and say okay well if I want to utilize this I can come over here and say oh by the way this is the bottom of a pipe right so if I want to have it look a little bit more customized I can do that and then do the same thing over here like say for instance I'll, I'll populate this and put that over here the cool thing about what I did here is I can easily come over here and control and then align these again and then have it look that much more professional Right, so now if I come over here and deem to put uh, maybe copy this and paste it and then shrink this pipe down to where it fits right here, right? You can see the way that's starting to, to come together. So you can see, and then here's where you come in and you would say, okay, well, you can right click and arrange and then send to back and that would really make it sink in and really kind of go in now I want to highlight something too I'm not just going to have this directly come from here as a pump start we're going to have valves and stuff too I just want to kind of show you a real indication of how things are done so another indicator where we would need is valves so um, a real easy thing we can do in this in this atmosphere right so a real easy thing we can do is have valves just like this uh, copy this valve over paste it in uh, we can have this color valve or let's see what would be a better indicator as far as a valve oh, we can always change the color of the valve it doesn't matter uh, as far as this goes um, different uh, ways things should go we can have it just this just like this um, I just want to get a couple of different ones right so what we can do is change the color of this um, animate it come over here change the colors uh, let's see change the color right here the back color you can change the four color uh, let's change the back color to make it kind of pop a little bit harder uh, on our actual application right so and then come over here and do that one more time on the very bottom so you can see that we're, we're easily changing the way these look so we can choose to use this valve or we can choose to use this valve now this valve does require a little bit more editing and you can always jump up here and use these tools up here to kind of zoom in and zoom out if you want to so you can kind of do this you see right here this would be pop like you really want to, to come over here and change the color you would change the color here that would change the color here then you pop up populate that one you change the color here 
and then you come over here and really that kind of gives a good indication that's that's not bad looking uh, but again we will change the color on this on animation so what I wanted to do is at least give a couple indicators um, and then scroll back out to the actual size that we're going to be using now um, with this being said uh, you know this can easily come over here and let's actually copy this and paste this so that we don't actually it's like say for our, our original for that matter if we want to shrink this down we can shrink the whole thing down just a little bit make sure the sizing and proportion is good you see that see how that kind of got distorted so you want to make sure that the sizing is correct so now again when we come back in here we're going to copy and paste I'm just control V control C and then come over here shrinking this down to the point where it would you know you'd utilize a valve come over here get it a roughly about the same size come over here put it just like that so we're going to highlight this we're going to come back and we're going to send it to back and align this properly and then you can see the way that starts to flow together now we can then copy this control c control v and then come over here and do the same exact thing here now the cool thing about this is I would like to come over here and highlight the control key and highlight these two and then shift this one way or another. So I want to make sure these are properly in line and then I want to come over here and send it to back. Right? So you can see if we come over here and we come back out, zoom back out, you can see the way that starts to look. And maybe our valve needs to be a little bit bigger. So I think the valve personally needs to be a little bit bigger so I like to size the valve first before I do anything else is I would size the valve first right and and sometimes you would need to change the you know the the way the pipe looks maybe the pipes are too thick and if the pipes are too thick then what we'll do is we'll basically replicate uh, or not replicate but we'll come over here and change the dimension of it and get it get it lined up properly and as we're getting it lined up properly we'll come over here and copy and paste it because we what we did is we changed the size of it so I want to make sure that I keep the size of it and then again come back here and arrange this to send it back so now our valve is in place and being that's a nice shiny color I don't know we could it's it's arguable if we want to have this color a little bit different so what I'm trying to do here is first and foremost you know get a base understanding of how the valve would work or something like that even if we did not choose to use this valve we choose to use this valve over here we'll copy and paste that control C control V and then come over here and use this valve right here so then that way it kind of gives a better indication of a valve right or maybe you know depending upon how you want to see it look or how it would work again we're going to change the color of this when it's active so let's zoom back out let's zoom back out and see the way that looks so you see we're starting to get a little bit of of different components in here and and sizing them properly even adding components to make it look even better so as we're going about this we're going to you know add all our piping get a good design and then come back and then we're going to start doing our control logics behind this so as soon as we get the number of pumps we have the number of valves we have the number of things we have now generally you would have this in place before you even start a, a project but in the case of what we're doing here we're kind of just doing it off of audible we're saying okay we want two tanks two pumps um, a batching tank and then a final resting tank for a finished product that's basically what we're having so we have tank one we'll have one component our uh, maybe uh you know flour sugar whatever the case may be another component would be the liquid uh pump one pump two 
and then come over here feed the batching tank the batching tank would then have a mixer that mixes it up and then as soon as it's done it would come over here and deliver it to the natural the, the uh, finished tank over here so what i'm doing is i'm picking the pipes picking the pumps picking the tanks making everything kind of look the similar together and just kind of getting a rough feel for it we're going to change and edit this stuff as we go but what i want to do is kind of show you different components and different things we can do as we're building this because that is the best atmosphere to be in so i know this video kind of ran a little bit long but let's go ahead and uh, conclude and we'll see you guys on the next one